I want height, I want this tree just to grow as tall as it wants to because we're gonna try to shade our front door area. And what better way to shade our front door area than a nice pluot tree. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Buenos dias, buenos tardes, buenos noches. Whenever you do to get to watch this video, I do hope you enjoy it. Today we are going to be supporting this tree. It is our Dapple Dandy Pluot. And you can see it's in a double leader formation. And we're gonna keep that. We were thinking about doing a spalier pruning or even just lobbing off one of the main branches and having it continue up as the main leader. But I kind of like it. We've got two main scaffold branches and we're gonna support them up. But first I've got to get some rebar. Now some of the rebar has been in our front yard supporting other trees. But today we're gonna to be pulling those out and I'll show you how we pull those out. If you ever tried pulling rebar out of the ground, it is not easy. Let's get to it. Today we're gonna to be propping up, supporting our Deppel Dandy Pluot. Now why do I want to do that? Well, it's on a double leader and I want to have this thing go up as straight as possible because I want it to be a double leader tree, a double scaffold tree. And then we're going to support all the branches out to a north, south, east, west facing growing style. You can see some of these branches are really long and whippy. We want to organize these things. So what we want to do is I've got the rebar and you saw that video of how I pulled that, pulled this rebar out of the ground is I want to bring these in like so, so that they grow in and straight up. And then I'm going to support all these other little branches out flat, kind of like an espalier pruning, but we want to have uh, lateral growth. So I'll show you here what I'm talking about, the double leader of our Deppel Dandy Pluot. This is, this is grafted. Here's your graft. Here's your rootstock. And this is where we're going to have our double leader tree at. We're going to want this thing to go pretty much straight up. So we're going to take the rebar and get it as close to the tree as possible. And I'll show you how I support it without strangling the tree. All right, I've got all my tools out. AKA my toys, you know I'm a big tool guy. Of course, Debbie's in the video. She's never leaving my side. I kind of made this thing. It's, uh, we welded it together. It's a sledgehammer with a hollow, with a hollow piece of steel pipe. And that's what we're gonna do, use to pound in our rebar. And then to support the tree is these just little rubber supports. You can find these at your local gardening center and they're just to, uh, they don't strangle the tree, but they do support the tree. And we're gonna be putting them uh, opposite direction of the growth of the tree. So it wants to go that way, we're gonna pull it that way with the rebar that's gonna be over here. All right, let's get to it.
All right, so I got the bottom ones up. Now we're gonna do the top. Let's do that real quick. Okay. I think I'm going to leave this one the way it is. It seems to be going up quite a ways. Yeah, secure it there. I like that. I'm just going to dress this up just a little bit so it's not as messy looking. Okay, so I am happy the way that this turned out. You can see our double leader now it is a lot more vertical growth. And this is just what we wanted. Uh, eventually, we will probably prune this over a little bit or train it so that it grows out just a little bit more. Maybe put some weights on here to have it grow more towards the north than all this inward growth. I don't want to prune it. I want height, I want this tree just to grow as tall as it wants to because we're going to try to shade our front door area. And what better way to shade our front door area than a nice pluot tree. Beautiful tree and fruitful.